This is Journey with Prayer, a prayer journey corresponding to a previous episode of the Journey with Care podcast, Care Journey, a discipleship pathway for a caring community. But my challenge for Canada is if you want more of Jesus, yes, continue to seek that that place of worship. But we sometimes are seeking the wrong places and we actually need those in the community that are going through suffering, those that are oppressed and marginalized and going through difficulties to experience Christ because that's where Christ is. And, And we need to be learning together and mutually transformed in community. For I was hungry, and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty, and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked, and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and not help you? And he will answer, I tell you the truth, when you refuse to help the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me. Matthew 25, 42 to 45, taken from the NLT. Merciful Father, We come before you with open hearts, grateful for your unending love and forgiveness. Thank you for the powerful reminder that in serving the least among us, we are serving you. Your words in Matthew teach us that every act of kindness and service to those in need is a reflection of our love for you. We are in awe that you've given us this honor and responsibility to be your hands and feet on this earth. And Lord, we ask for your guidance and courage to see the needs around us and respond with love and compassion. Empower us to feed the hungry, give water to the thirsty, welcome strangers and clothe the naked, to care for the sick and to visit those in both the real and proverbial prisons. May our actions be driven by a deep desire to honor you through our service, recognizing that in helping others, We are directly serving you. Help us to overcome any barriers that prevent us from reaching out to those in need. Break down the walls of fear, prejudice, and indifference so that we may fully embrace the call to serve others. Transform our hearts to be vessels of your love, grace, and mercy, pouring out your blessing on those around us. Holy Spirit, move within our communities and inspire a culture of care and sacrificial love. Let unity and compassion drive our collective actions, reflecting the true spirit of discipleship. And may our service be a shining light that draws others closer to you, revealing the depth of your love and the power of your kingdom at work. So ask yourself the question, how can I serve the least of these this week? As you go through your week, I want to encourage you, take the time to reflect. Meditate on Matthew 25, 42 to 45, and think about how you can see Jesus in those who are hungry, thirsty, strangers, naked, sick, or in prison. And then engage. Identify one practical way to serve someone in need this week, whether it be volunteering, providing resources, or offering companionship. And then finally, pray. Pray for those who are struggling and in need of support, that they may feel God's presence and comfort. And pray for eyes to see opportunities to serve and the willingness to act on them. And then pray for the transformation of your own heart to become more compassionate and action-oriented in serving others. You can check the show notes for these references, prayers, and scriptures, or to find out more about our podcasts, head over to journeywithcare.ca. 
I'm Johan, and thanks for praying with me today.